guys, it's Shitkin Blaze, I'm Fabio Pisco and today we have a video of how to overclock your Ryzen 3 1200. One more time, this is a how to overclock tutorial and not, so it is but it isn't. It's like I'm showing my settings like always, I will be only showing my settings and tell you about some key points that you need to, how should I say it, you need to, those key points to overclock your Ryzen 3 1200 and uh, your memory to, to 3200 megahertz properly. That's with the Ryzen 3 1200 and the MSI B350 Tomahawk with the latest BIOS, which is the 1.9, I guess. I guess. That's mostly it, guys. Don't forget to leave your amazing like. Don't forget to subscribe if you are not subscribed yet. And just share the video to all your friends and family and family of friends and friends of the family and all that. Anyway guys, let's now go to the video and see you soon. So guys, now on the overclocking part, as you may see I have my Ryzen 3 at 3.9 GHz and my DDR speed to 3200 MHz, this on the MSI B350 Tomahawk with the 1.9 BIOS. So let's see the OC settings, in order to have all these settings you need to, to go to the OC Explore mode and choose the Expert mode. As you may see, CPU at 39, at 39, like I said, sorry. The core performance boost, I have to like it, I, I like it to, ah, shit, fucking English. I like to have it at disabled, so it is useless since we have, and we are manually overclocking. Uh, as for the down core control, leave it on auto. Uh, as for the DRAM settings, the AXMP, I leave it disabled. Disabled why? Because I like to put my settings manually on the RAM, mostly on the RAM. So DDR4, 3200 megahertz. As for the retry count, I leave it at 2, it's okay. Uh, now to the advanced DRAM settings configuration. The first setting is command rate. Leave the command rate at 2T if you are having uh, memory compatibility issues. The 2T comments, uh, comments, sorry, uh, it's mostly to um, to compatibility instead of performance. But it is it is not slow, not slow at all. So again, the the timings: 16, 18, 18, 18, 38. As for the sub timings, you can change them as well, but I don't like to do it. One of the key points to memory overclocking is this one down here. Let's go. Go down, go down, go down. On die termination, so PROC ODT. This is one of the most important settings to memory overclocking on Ryzen. So, AMD recommends the 48 ohms, 260 ohms on the settings. All the RAMs I tested, the better options and the better stability were was with 48 ohms. So keep it at 48, if it doesn't work for you, just move it to 60 ohms and see if it works. Mostly uh, 48 and 60 ohms are the better settings. The better settings, sorry. <laughs> I'm kind of sick, so it's hard to, to speak. Anyway, for the voltages, CPU core voltage. So I put it at one, uh, one. Um, oh my God, one uh, twenty-eight seventy-five volts because I have my DG all power, which is the load line calibration, and the CPU NB load line calibration to mode two. So mode two, mode two. This will make the the CPU. Um, raise the, the voltage when needed, so imagine if you put a load on your CPU, so gaming, rendering, whatever, if you put load on CPU, the voltage will increase by something, I want this to happen so I can have stability. So I have it at 1.28, but the, the BIOS puts it at 1.32, so that's 
kind of okay too. 1.32 or 1.31, it's kind of okay for these processors at 3.9 GHz. It's, it's kind of okay, very, very okay. At the CPU North, North Bridge or SOC voltage, I advise you to have it at at least one volt. But for security, uh, for security reasons, I I just leave it at 1.1 volts. It's not harmful, so just leave it there, and you'll have a better, a better stable and a stay more stable system. Sorry, uh, the DRAM. It's quite okay, 139, and that's it. For the CPU features, I advise you guys to disable all the power uh, saving crap you can find on your BIOS. So if you want performance, you don't want power saving, so disable all the power saving. One of them is Core C6 State. Another one is Spread Spectrum, have it on disabled, it's not a power feature, but disable it anyway for better stability and as for the AMD cool and quiet 100% disabled 100% so that's mostly it guys nothing more to show to, to show sorry so the DRAM frequency the timings the PROC ODT or, or PROC ODT as you may call it to 48 the voltages, don't forget the all the CPU voltages are different, so every CPU has a different voltage, a different safe voltage, I must say. This voltage must be safe must be safe for almost every Ryzen 3 at 3.9 GHz, but I advise you to, to start like with 1, 1 1.35 volts and then step by step reduce it uh, till you get um, the lowest stable option you can have that's quite simple you can test it with a program like a the 64 or with gaming simply so guys don't forget to leave your like and subscribe thanks a lot for watching and subscribe for the next videos see you soon guys thanks for watching hit like and subscribe obrigado por verem deem like e subscrevam